Hello everyone. In this mini tutorial video, I'm going to show you how to do basic cluster analysis in R. The first thing that you need is to download the data set, the European protein consumption data set, by just simply clicking on the file and downloading it into the downloads folder. So once, once the file is being downloaded, I will also go ahead and install the packages cluster, which is what we are going to be using for the exercises in the labs. You can also get more information about uh, the, the, the clustering methods that we are going to be using. So the first method is going to be k-means, and the second one is Agnes. Okay. Now, once you install the package, you will then have to load the data that you just downloaded, the protein data set. How to do that is you first need to set the working directory. Now, if you're a student, obviously you have to use the students and then your uni ID. And then for example, the folder that the file has been downloaded into. So, once I set the working directory successfully, then I'm able to read the file. In this case, I'm going to call it protein DF and then read CSV protein CSV. Now, if I want to look at what the data actually looks like, I can use the head function to just give me a quick look into the first few observations in my data set. Okay. So once we've done that, we are ready to do our first clustering exercise. Now, if you're going to talk about what K means clustering actually is, what it means, why is it so important? But for the purposes of this video, the way that we go about creating a clustering, in this case, we are using two attributes or two variables, red meat and fish. Essentially, we are looking at these two protein sources and we want to see which countries in my data set are um, sort of, or I want to cluster those countries based on these two attributes. So based on their consumption. So the first thing we, we are going to do is we are going to set the seed. Now we are going to talk about this seed or generating seeds in more detail during the tutorial. But as you've seen last week, um, there's this notion of deterministic and non-deterministic models. So we have to set the seed to make sure that you're going to have the same results every single time you're gonna run the, the model, in this case, clustering. Now I'm ready to uh, group the results, group my clusters. Again, just if you want, you can just copy and paste directly from the instructions from the lab questions. And then I'm now able to see what my clusters actually look like. Okay, so hopefully you're all going to get the same sort of summary output. And we are going to be talking about this during the lab, but um, essentially we just now created uh, clusters and based on, um, for example, countries and, and their red meat and fish consumption. Now, if I wanna order them, if I wanna order the results based on the country and their consumption, um, I can use the order function in R. And then if I frame it, I will get the list of the countries from the protein DF, and I'm going to get the list of clusters from group meat that I created earlier. Okay. Now, if I want to plot the results, again, you you can simply uh, copy and paste. Again, don't worry too much about uh, the command or the code that goes into it. But this is hopefully you're all going to be able to create, and you will see that we've got one, two, three, four, and then that's our fifth cluster. Now, just very quickly, you can also check and compare and contrast your, your graph with the results that you have in the summary output. So you will see that, for instance, Portugal, which is cluster four, is the only observation 
in my summary output, which sort of represents or which is associated with that sort of, you know, single cluster in my, in my result. You're also able to, so if you're going to change, for example, the, the parameters, okay? Now, if you're still going to be using, for example, the same seed or the same, uh, same seed generation, and we will be able to, for example, get the results based on a different set of um, parameters in our, um, in our situation. In terms of the, in terms of Agnes or in terms of hierarchical clustering um, algorithm, you're not, I'm not going to go through this, but essentially what you can do is again just copy and paste some of these instructions, especially towards the end, and you will be able to, for example, create a dendrogram. Now, dendrograms are a very important concepts, and we're going to be talking about them in the in the tutorials. So make sure that you go through the lecture materials. Make sure you go through the lecture content. And make sure you understand what a dendrogram is. So hopefully, when we when we get to the when we get to the tutorial, instead of spending time talking about, for example, how to create a dendrogram or what it actually means, we could actually discuss some of the key questions that you may have in relation to uh, the specific uh, scenario we have with the with the protein data set. So this is all uh, that I wanted to share with you. Again, like I said, the rest of the the rest of the questions are fairly straightforward, except the fact that they're going to be focusing on creating hierarchical clustering. So I've shown you the K means. Now the, the the rest will focus on hierarchical clustering method, which we will, like I said, we, uh, we will talk about in in the tutorial. As always, if you have any questions, if you have any concerns, please bring them to the class or put them in the discussion forum. Thank you.